Hello and welcome to another tutorial on the WYSIWYG Web Builder. This time we're going to talk about building a uh, faded sidebar like you see here to go down the side of your page. It works wonderfully to make your uh, uh, your navigation bar stand out and some pages are well, well designed pages look uh, wonderful with this on here. WYSIWYG Web Builder is one of the most simple programs you can ever use to uh, build websites with as you'll see here uh, just it's just so simple it, it's amazing very cheap uh, it's less than forty dollars to own it you never have to pay for it again and if you like if you don't have it yet you can get it at my website at the seoprimer.com uh, I am Don Hatton the SEO tutor and I teach SEO as well as how to use WYSIWYG and uh, I do hope you enjoy this tutorial. Now let's get started with the tutorial. First thing you're going to do is we're going to need to open up a new web page. So let's click on this to open one up. There's our web page. Now let's set our background by opening up page properties. And we come up here to formatting. Now we're going to choose a color. Let's do something purplish. Okay, we're going to do purple this time. So we want to use purple and let's get our light color taken care of first uh, go into uh, custom and you see this bar here all your colors on your website should be of similar hue and saturation all that good stuff so I just slide mine up and down down here for the dark colors I want and up here for the light we're going to pick the light color we're going to come three bars down and we're going to start off with a nice lavender color here click OK now here I'm going to copy this code here just uh, that way we can reuse this code and we're going to click OK. This way we can get back in and do it with uh, for our darker color. We click OK. Now we have our dark color or our light color for the background. Now what we do is we open up our images, click on images and open up an image here. First thing we want to do is get rid of that nasty border. Hate those things. Now let's go in here and set our color. So we click on the color tab, click on more colors. Up here we're going to paste that code that we picked up from the other window. There it is. We're going to click OK. There is our light color right there. Now let's go into our second color. We want it to be our dark color. So we're going to just use that one right there. So now we have our deep dark rich purples going into our light lavenders. Now all we have to do is to click OK. Now there we have our image. Now this isn't quite the way we want it because we want it to go dark to light this way. So let's open this up again. And we're going to scroll down here and we're going to use this one right there. That way it will fade from dark to uh, light. If you wanted it to go the other way it's easy enough to just uh, click on a different form so it goes in a different direction. But we're going to use this one right here for this particular application. So we click OK. Now we have uh, the beginnings of our sidebar here. And what we do is we left click on it, let's right click on it, and we're going to copy it. Now we go in and we open up our paint program. There's our paint program. Let's shrink this up and we'll hit paste to paste it in to our document. Or to our window. Now you'll notice there's a white border around each side. We want to take that out. So click off of the screen so that we don't have to. Uh, it works better that way anyway. And then we just click on this little white, little blue bar, slide it in. That takes care of that white area. We have a white area here, so let's get rid of that by sliding this one up just a little bit as well. Now we have a nice uh, background image. Let's save it. Now save it into backgrounds. And we're going to make this uh, purple background, BKGD. I like to abbreviate because I hate to type. There's our purple background. Okay, there we go. Now we can just close this out. Now we uh, let's get rid of this right here. Now let's go into our page properties. We're going to set the side margin. Page properties. Now here's where you do it. You go into formatting and where it says image click on the image icon over here to the right or the folder icon and then select your purple background. Now there we have it's in there. Now 
if we repeat it in both directions, it's going to look really funky. So let's just repeat it in vertical direction because we want the border to go up and down. That should be fine. And we hit OK. There we have our beautiful purple and lavender background for our web page. Uh, as you can see, WYSIWYG Web Builder is a phenomenally easy program. And if you don't have it, you should get it. Uh, it's just phenomenally easy. It's really cheap. And uh, it's easily as good as Dreamweaver or any number of other programs out there and a lot easier to use. My name is Don Hatton. I am the SEO tutor. I teach SEO and, of course, how to use WYSIWYG. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. You'll find more of my tutorials on YouTube, on Screen Toaster, and, of course, at my website, theseoprimer.com. Thanks, and I hope you uh, learned something from this tutorial.